everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode three. Last time we took on the False Knight and then entered Green Path, and we're picking up where we left off, where we met the, the hunter and got given a journal, which was really cool. So we essentially have the game's bestiary now, and that's perfect to look through. Killing more enemies yields uh, more descriptions from the hunter as well, so we'll be looking to, to do that uh, throughout the course of the game. Uh, we've loaded in from uh, a new uh, our, our save game, so it's uh, jumped us off at the uh, rest bench up here. So we'll be making our way back down and heading across to the undiscovered left-hand side of, of Green Path, but really enjoying uh, the game. And uh, I've got a lot of uh, positive feedback so far. Um, nice warm reception uh which is which is is lovely i am uh i'm glad you're liking it because i am loving it uh so much to so much to love and appreciate um, and we are only two episodes in onto the third so let's just continue on this on this journey now this is the area that we walked into last time and we were being observed by um being observed by Silk Song, for, for lack of a better term. Um, as, as someone put it, uh, I've met uh, Jane Silk Song to go along with John Hollow Knight. Um, <laughs> so uh, there we go. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens uh, with that as we progress, as we are clearly being uh, watched in some capacity. Ah oh, yes, we have to go down and to the right uh, in order to proceed. Why did I... Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was an entirely avoidable... <laughs> that was an entirely avoidable mistake. Just look down and then... That's fine. So it seems that if you hold, um, I guess there's a point to, to doing so, but if you hold up and hold down on the D-pad, there's a little bit of a delay, but on the thumbstick, it's instant. Um, and I guess that'll that'll come in handy. At the moment, I'm using the D-pad for my, my movement. I just feel like the dedicated up, down, left, right buttons is a little more reliable than a thumbstick in the heat of the moment, but the thumbstick up and down is probably the way to go if you want to look up and down real quick. I do really like the uh, the way that the game uh, controls. Oh, so they can still okay. So attacking them does not cancel their lunge, which I suppose that makes sense. We're back again to the beautiful green path music as well. It's a shame that explosion doesn't do damage to other enemies. Oh, it can go straight down as well. Nice. Silly me, because we put down this platform last time. Hang on, where are we? Oh no, I do have to. I have to make that drop, don't I? We make the drop down here, and then go to the left. Perfect. stuck. That was not sensible. I need to get used to the, the ability to like 
do the downward swipes without getting myself um, killed in the process. Nice, you can also, if you hit them once, just hit them on their way to you to kill them. That's also nice. Scatter the, scatter my bug bucks so far away. Ooh. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was going to charge up more. Oh, you, you bastard. You absolute bastard. Uh, funny that. Okay, there's a platform up there to cut down to get on these spikes. Alright, we're gonna go down this way first then. Ooh, I hear a caterpillar friend. I don't think we can make that. I think we might have to come back to this and drop another platform down potentially. I don't know if we'd be able to drop a platform down into the acid though. I, f I don't think I can make that gap. I, n I feel like I need the dash. I'm not sure if I can make, the make that without it. There's definitely going to be a lot that we need to revisit. Silk Song identified. New journal entry. New enemy. Nice. The game does not pause when you're in your journal. Okay, so that bug is still flying around. Fat, slow flying bug frequently discharges the acidic liquid stored in its round body. Defeat 19 more to decipher the hunter's notes. Oh, you can break those and then the butterflies run away. F run away, he says. Fly away. Yep. I kind of want that. Freedom for all butterflies. Aha! Ooh. Those who stray from the White King's roads shall face the law of Un. The White King's roads. The law of Un. Okay. Uh! I felt like I should have got hit there. Didn't mean to, but that's fine. Take me back. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Too, too hectic for me. When you, okay. When you, when you hit an enemy, you get, you get a little bit of a pep in your step as well. When you, when you hit, hit them on the top. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of interesting, actually. So there's a there's a lot of flying enemies, and there's a lot of um, platforms that are like harder to reach. So I feel like you can get dash, but you might be able to like jump, attack. And it like gives you that's like an automate it's not a double jump per se. But it gives you it bounces you back up into the air. You could use that momentum. That's pretty cool. I don't know how like much that'll actually work, but like it's pretty cool. I guess before we go too far in that direction. It's good for us to check out here. Oh, rest spot. Nice. This is a different bench. But it has marked it on the map. Interesting that there's a bench marked on that left hand side. I guess that must mean... Oh, no. <laughs> Silly me. That's because we only buy the partial map 
from Cornifer, and he's put that there for us. And we fill out the rest of it. That's why. He's been there. He's rested on that bench. And he marked it on the map for us. I hear another caterpillar. Oh, no, I don't. I hear this guy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Hold on a minute there. I can't get high enough to deal with you. Little, little pea shooter. Is this guy dead? Oh, that's, that's, okay. That was, that's weird. He's in the foreground. Did not expect that. I was like, oh, yeah. He's just sleeping. Oh, God. All right, now I gotta watch out for those. Oh, they're everywhere. That's scary. Look at that thing in the background. Here we go. Let me clear it. Ooh, up there. What's that? Ooh. Whoop. Ha ha! You can you can get uh, Anakin Skywalker them when they jump over you. Nice. Kill them for journal entry. Yeah, these are creepy as hell. Oh, it's dark in here. I feel like we're. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a type of uh, experience um, where you need a light of some kind. I'll come back, I, I guess. Uh, this is on my map now. No, it isn't. Shit. It'll update my map when I get when I rest on my bench. Uh, that's right. Gotta remember that. We only sit down to update our map when we rest. Okay, we got a weird temple place. Um, Whoa. That looks like it's armored on the top though. Oh, but hang on. This is what I was just talking about. <laughs> Complete lack of balance. Uh, this is what I was just talking about, right? With uh, hitting an enemy on the top and then using that momentum, right? So if I... I, I see. I think I feel like that's a really good uh, enemy to put there because it's kind of meant to like commute, like get those gears spinning in your head of like how do we get across there? That's that's really good that you get that momentum. Oh, the council is down here well, again. We still don't know what that sign is actually for. Just looks like a group of like Studio Ghibli creatures. So we're going for. Uh, the council at the moment. Interesting, we're going off the beaten path. Fog Canyon. Oh, this is taking us to an entirely different spot. Okay, um... Oh, and Cornifer's right here. Oh, that was, that's the journal entry noise. I was like, why is that? Why was there a scary noise? <laughs> Uoma, smallest jelly form, passive and unaware, but pulsing with a dangerous electric charge. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, what? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I, I fucked around and found out. I hit it, I survived, and it didn't do anything. And then I said, what, again? All right, so it looks like it hits it hits you back. Oh. Oh, 
Quanifer's humming sounds weird. Where, where you at, Quanifer? You're humming here. The audio goes weird. Ulma, passive, outer being, protecting an aggressive, explosive core. Cool. Something that is really cool in that sense is it gives me sort of the feeling that there are enemies uh, that you can use to potentially navigate the environments as well maybe like a jellyfish that has an explosive core <laughs> stop looking uh, you're judging me uh, like a, yeah a jellyfish that has like an explosive core maybe it'd be a way to like use that potentially Okay, so see, yeah, like look at this for example. It, uh, jellyfish only started moving when I got close to it. Yes! Oh! That was not what I expected. I didn't expect it to come back for revenge, but that was cool. So I feel like we might be onto something. Um, you can, like, you could potentially smack the explosive core into something. Now I've now I think I've got to think about this game on a on a different level in that sense. Like, so if we look at oh they're gone. Never mind. I thought that they would respawn because I was going to try and hit one into this darkness wall, but it seems that only the small jellyfish come back to life. Yeah, okay. So maybe not. It was, a, it was a good train of thought. I don't think that was a terrible thing to think about. But yeah. Um, seems that the big jellyfish are just temporarily around. And then the explosive core really just kind of tracks you down. Oh. So, uh, so, so what you want to do is what we just did, and you want to attack it from the top, and that smacks it right down, and then it can't, it can't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not a good idea. I didn't ju I didn't fall into the the acid but I thought that I was destined for the acid in that moment did the explosion bump me out nice just gotta like use it in a way where there you go That is a massive explosion. I should, I should have just jumped. I should have jumped over it in the opposite direction. That would have been the smarter choice. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, my journal has been updated. Ghastly, eerie creature made out of thick liquid. You can peer right through them and can't see where they keep their thoughts. I don't trust them at all. Keep away. All right, we're, we're really not having a great time with those, are we? A spirit. The spirit of a dead ancestor, the brain of a larger creature, allowed to drift free, an egg, searching for a safe place to spawn. I have no idea what this is. OK, 
getting a um, we're getting a lot of different symbols here. I don't know why I've proceeded to go down this way. I don't know. There's something just like so enticing about this area that I'm just like for some reason I just can't stay away. Like I must explore, despite the fact that we should probably stay on green path. Queen's Station. Oh, hello. Have we met before? You're the one that was at the the egg. Goa, Nudo Mac. Quirrell, yeah. Isn't this something? I had not expected to discover so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hallow Nest must have been an impressive lot building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't yet made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. Nah, I mean, Can you imagine this place in its time? Hordes of bugs traveling about the kingdom, stag bells ringing, the station bustling with activity and life. Now only our like, even though it exists. That's a special thing, I suppose, to cherish these sites, even in their decay. Hmm. Is it just, is it that just faintly you can still hear the echo of the bells? Hmm. I can, actually. Ooh, what's this? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that is blocked. So gates closed. So many dead husks. Uh, hi. Oh, ah. Uh. Ella. Willow. Oh, come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station. The taste is just divine. This place must have once been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time, though I do like the quiet in this station. A little company is always good for one's health. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems like we get like three dialogue entries for the most part. From most people. You can hear like the echoes of a distant past, almost. <laughs> yeah, map updated. Mm -hmm. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag, insert geo. Okay, so I think we saw this once and we said no, but we've got, and I was like, I'll save my money because I don't know, but let's actually have a look at what this is. So I've got, I've got enough geos, baby. Um, 120. What happens? We paid the, the bug toll. Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Amisodo. The last stag. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Damn, we should have just paid the geos last time. I thought it was going to be that, uh, was, when I was looking at it, I thought it was going to be like that weird, um, the weird tram looking thing. Because I was like, oh cool, the tram car of some kind, but no. Bug travel. Let's go. Ah. So we haven't unlocked the one, obviously, that we first came across, so logically it makes sense that we can only go right back to the beginning. <gasps> cool bug. Cool bug moment. So uh, the literal definition of uh, a travel bug Hmm. Infection comes out of those thorns. Oh, we're not going that way yet. And there's something cool in there. Looks like the piece of a, uh, like a like a mask, like what I'm wearing, like a like got the eye hole. Quirrell is gone. 
I cannot get over there. So we're going to head back up. Oh, at least we can fast travel down there when we come back. So maybe we should... <laughs> maybe we should get out of here, he says, as he proceeds to enter a new area. Uh, this is the... This is obviously going to be the candy store. That's a bunch of bug lollies. Baked... Baked treats. This is a bakery bug. Look at... Look at those. Look at those treats. Oh, Bakura Finedo. Oh, a banking service. Okay. I was close. Not a bakery. A bank. So close. <laughs> Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run until you came along. They provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing and it's so much more likely if you carry it about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Maybe you'd consider opening an account. You have to pay 100 to open an account. I'm assuming it's a one-time fee of 100 to be able to store everything just in case you die, because then you have to make the arduous journey back to it. Sure, why not? It is a gameplay system. I will use the gameplay system. Just you. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beastie gets the best of you, you'll be glad to know your geo safe within my shell, uh, my vault. Now let's do some banking. Max balance of 4,500. Nice. Well, I don't know where your I don't know where your banks are at. Is it? Do you only have a bank here? You know what I mean. What if I need to buy something and then I have to go all the way back here? We will cross that road when we get to it. No point worrying about the future when you can't change it. Goodbye then. Stay safe. Okay, cool. So this is the bank room of the Fog Canyon of the place that we do not have a map for because I have just kind of wandered into this area and gone, ooh, jellyfish. And now I should leave. So let's do that. Let's get let's get out of here. We'll we'll come back here when we can figure out how the hell to get to Cornifer as well. Because that's another problem. Because we need Cornifer's map in order to make heads or tails of this place. Ooh. Oh, there's a massive amount of thorn growth there. If I just uh, hit this and then hide under that, nope. You take the explosion, whether you like it or not. Can't hide under a ledge. Because explosion too big. Gotcha. And the big jellyfish look like they do come back. Um, it just takes a while for them to respawn there. Oh, <laughs> the double whammy. The double whammy of getting hit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and just not pressing the jump button. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Man. <laughs> oh. Silly, silly mistakes. Numerous of them too, all in one go. Silly. Do not wish to be here anymore. <laughs> let, let me out. All right, back to green path. Get me out of bubble land. All right, so still don't know what those um, icons are for. We'll figure it out. Oh God, Jesus, jump out to a jump scare enemy immediately. Finally, oh, never mind. Like, finally, I have enough to heal myself. Ooh. 
Did not press the attack button in time. Those of us that are too tempted by treasure. So many police, it's currently out of reach. <gasps> Jesus. Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing that exists. Can I attack it? Oh, hang on. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god, there's so many like creatures in this game that that, ah, that that fake their size. The false knight being one of them. Okay. Oh, oh and you have more than one hit in you. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay. Moss charger. Timid creature that frightens away intruders by covering itself in huge clumps of moss. It works. Let me tell you that worked on me. I was like, I was terrified. This is great. This game has like, um, like encountered, not necessarily encountered jump scares, but it's got, has like encounters that definitely keep you on your toes uh, and surprise you. Just some, something completely unexpected can just jump out of, uh, out of nowhere. And you're just like, Expect the unexpected. You know, you know? Ugh, like this. And it's just such a violent appearance, you know? Oh! oh this is just, okay. Oh, how dare it actually get a hit on me when it's in its exposed form. Nice. Excuse me there, Mrs. Silk Song. Hmm, how do I get to... Oh, well, okay, we'll figure that out too. There's something down in the corner there. I see you up there. Hmm. Hmm. You are an interesting one. I'll give you that. So it has like, uh, we've got a nail and they have like a, a needle, a little thread and needle. We're just playing a game. Playing hard to get. Okay, you want to go up to that rest spot. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of that growth coming up now. I'm just checking out where not to follow this. Uh... I should have expected that. <laughs> as soon as I saw that on the wall, I'm like, wait a minute. I should be an expert at figuring out when I'm about to get eaten. I know. there's ways there's, there's got to be ways to defeat these uh, there's got to be ways to defeat these enemies right to get them in your um, journal From moss and leaf, our life is drawn. While it grows upon the path, we shall never wilt. I don't know about jumping down there.
Oh, okay, looks like it just takes us down. So goodbye. Bench blocked by a gate. Oh, but hang on. Wait a minute. A toll machine with a symbol of oh, with the symbol of a bench. Pay Geo to unlock bench. I see. That's cool. Looks like we gotta go up this way to proceed anyway. I'm assuming the lovely person that we are following went this way and they shut the gate behind them. Unfortunate placement right there. Oh! Oh no! I forgot that I had the tap B to do that thing, didn't I? Oh, maybe that's how we deal with those enemies. Um, that you can bounce off of. You can use the Vengeful Spirit to do damage to them. If you want. This is looking like less green path and more going into the forgotten crossroads, but that's not right because we're all the way over this side. It's just losing that nature element to it here. Oh, never mind, it's back. It's just the color, like in this specific room, it's very blue. God, not even paying attention on my platform. Oh, that's a drop. Interesting. There's so many areas tucked away in these maps. That is a good thing, by the way. Oh. That was a attempt. That was an attempt to be smooth in there. It was not successful. Oh, 
getting hit on the way back when it bounces back is unfortunate. I think what's really nice is I really appreciate the healing mechanic. And I appreciate that it's not a nightmare to heal and get souls in order to heal as well. I'm, I'm grateful. Because it keeps it fun when you just like, you can easily, you know, get your health back when you make a couple of silly little missteps in a row like I seem to consistently do. <laughs> So a path down and a path to the right here. More thorns. Well, that doesn't look good. Mm. I can't even get up and past there anyway, I don't think. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to come back here later. We definitely need something that will assist us with navigating those thorns, I guess. So, so that's gonna be a no for now. We're back here now. I see, that's looped us back there. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought I recognized that area. Well, that was close to taking damage, wasn't it? tucked away that I, I guess I need to keep an eye out for these. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so in every bush and every vine the mind of Un reveals itself to us. Okay. Some really intriguing pieces of text here. I thought, I thought this was going to be a person to talk to. Oh! Oh god. <laughs> Cool. Okay, it's not a person to talk to. It's a person to fight. I love the beard. Oh. Ah. Love this. Oh, that was so cool. Moss Knight, protector of the green bath, trained in the ways of the nail and the shell. Nice. Let's right, see what is in there. <laughs> That's funny, like walking past it. I thought this would be an NPC, because it looks not hostile. Attacks it. Brought that on myself, didn't I? I'm assuming we're supposed to be going off to that left pen side thing. So I'm just kind of actively going in other directions at the moment just to see what's out there. Ooh, we're getting not as green pathy anymore. We're getting back to sort of the catacomb style aesthetic. 
sorry, crossroads. I keep saying catacombs. I love the, the visual change though. I think that's really, really nice. The change in the, the color for each area. one of me. It's a fellow me. It looks like me. Keeping your distance, eh? Whoa! <laughs> when you look the wrong way for the ventral spirit. Oops. Oops. Oh, oh no. Why have I done this to myself? I've made huge mistakes trying to be cool with the ventral spirit. I should have healed before trying to jump on a silly little bug. I panicked. All right. I'm going to be real with you. Panicked. That was very unexpected. Um, there's a fellow, a fellow knight. That was it. That was a very lucky dodge. I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm not going to even take credit for that because that was ridiculous. I avoided getting hit and touching any enemies for some reason. Now, if only I could carry that luck into the actual fight against whatever the hell this thing is. Giant version of that creature. Which is back up here, right? It's up this way. No, this way. Because this is the... yeah. Oh no! Okay. Oh no. I was hoping to passively avoid you this time. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this guy. I'm vulnerable. I'm, I'm actually, I'm being, I'm being silly now. Stop that. Let us go back. Okay. My curiosity getting the better of me in a place like this. We hit each other at the same time. Oh well. Ah. <laughs> I'm just missing. Waste of time, wasn't it? Yo, let's go. Oh, it's gonna blow up? I don't know. Should I avoid that? Did he die by getting dropped? Oh, he's up. I was like, he's taking so long to get up. It's a fellow me, but much more grumpy looking. 
<laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? You dare to come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about, getting in the way and causing bother? Know this, Kerr. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Cross me again, and you'll find out why they call my weapon Life Ender. You're getting eaten by a bug. Nah. What are you still bothering me for? I'm a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. Be gone, lest I draw my nail. Nah. What are you still bothering me for? Okay. Lest I draw my nail. I had like a thought just then. I was like, I wonder if uh, we could get attacked by him when he was talking about that. I wonder if he'd actually like commit to that. And then I had another thought where I was like, oh, I didn't even consider, but can we attack NPCs? And would there be consequences of that, you know? It's like, if we started attacking him, would we fight a fellow knight? Um, Vengefly King, the patriarch of a vengeful Vengefly colony swoops at intruders and cries out for reinforcements if threatened. Oh, don't have a map for this area. So this takes us out of green path. Back to a... Sort of a crossroad style arrangement. A lot of different branching pathways. There's a lot of areas that I didn't... I mean, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot more areas than I thought. I guess I don't really have any expectations, but I was just like, oh, it's very easy to get to. Maybe what I mean to say, it's very easy to get to like a new location just by walking around. Oh, I knew that there was a spike floor, but for some reason my brain was like, do it. It will be fun if you just do it. Risk it. I really need to remember to actually press the jump button before walking off the platform. That might help. Okay. Looks like we'll come back to that area as well. Okay, so there's a room underneath here. Underneath the Vengefly King, so we will have a look at what's there. I like the map. I like it moving with you when you walk. That's cute. Little head bobs in the in the thing. Oh, it seems as if we actually... Oh. You're forced to go the Vengefly King route. And then you go down, and then you can cut open that pathway. So we're actually going the intended path the whole time. Cheeky game. I see now. I see. So now we drop down into that room from the Vengefly King spot. And we can cut down that platform. And then I think the, I, I got distracted and I didn't continue this as well. Did I not? No, I did. It's hard when you need to remember what you have explored. It just hasn't updated on the map because I haven't rested yet. <laughs> the fart noises that they make when they die. the shot.
if you're not standing far enough on one side, it doesn't spawn. That's funny. That's not funny. Did it borrow? It did. God damn it. Nice. Oh, that's actually quite scary. Because you can't tell if you're actually going to fall or not. Green children walked from the dream unto these lands. How we now, here we now shall wait, patient for the call to return. The green children walked from the dream unto these lands. Ah, there's another one of those knights guarding a caterpillar. I will rescue. I really like this uh, <laughs> type of fight. Oh, I was above you. Okay. <gasps> Oh, no. Gotcha. Yay. Another one rescued. They're fun to fight, those uh, moss knights. Moss knight. There you go. Can go. Oh, nice fast travel spot. The stag. Just have to pay the stag toll at every spot. <sighs> Went straight down. Oh, ah, ah. Ooh. Uh. Cool, so I can see the connective tissue between that, the middle section now, starting to form. Toll machine. Let's go. Okay, so now we can fast travel to this place uh, as well. Lovely. Okay, no reason to go down yet. That'll take us all the way back down to the bottom. So let us let us go this way. So we can go off to the left to get to the main spot. How dare you? You know what? I give up. <laughs> get away! Get away from me! I'm gonna fight this guy instead. Oh, actually, this room is much taller. Yes, because you can drop down from here. Oh, there's two. Well, I'm upset. It's my own fault too. Didn't think he was going to do the second one there. Just fuck. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, pretty. 
is they're very challenging when you're not paying like when you're not like locked in you know when you you're just trying to like be a little whimsical I think it's just needing to watch for when he does the second swipe Alright, I got you cornered. Got you cornered, my guy. They're definitely fun to fight, though. That, that is undeniable. Okay, that's where we came from. has faded. Ooh. <gasps> A knight killed with his own nail. Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> You've been following me and watching me at every turn. This old kingdom. A terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you try to do. I can't allow it. What? Oh! Hornet. Whoa. Okay. What are those moves? Those are so cool. Oh, I'm getting absolutely owned. Whoa! Okay, get me, get me away, get me out of here. I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh no, damn it. Oh, I just made too many mistakes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that is so cool. Hornet. Congratulations, you are no longer called Silk Song. You have a name. How exciting. Alright, let's lock in this fight, shall we? Oh, yes, it returns to you, doesn't it? And you, okay, you've got... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I said I was going to lock this in, but apparently I'm an idiot. I'm in the middle of healing. Give me a break. What? Oh, you just walked right into me. I think the, the worst damage in this game is just when they just walk into you because you're just like, oh, I didn't even get attacked. Like, they just, they were just like, I'm gonna just walk into you because I'm so powerful. All right. Really cool moves. I like that. Yeah, like it is. It is a thread and needle uh, weapon. I like that. Karama! However, you need to chill. I 
don't know what I don't know what her moves are yet. Oh, I'm here. Stop. I'm being bullied. I accidentally wasted my uh, vengeful spirit. So I was meant to heal, but I cancelled the heal. Oh. Nice. Bullied. I'm I'm being bullied. Oh my god. Why can't we be friends, Hornet? to bully her instead. <laughs> There's nothing like just being in a position where you just are able to get hit by multiple attacks in a row and just being like, I guess I will shit my pants and die. These are just practice runs, guys. This ain't this isn't the real first attempt. So these are just these are just practice runs, okay? The real fight has not even started. It has not even started. This is the real fight. I meant to get hit because I want to give her a full sense of security that she can win. I meant uh, uh, same with that. There's nothing worse than like getting hit where you just have to you just have to watch it happen in slow motion because your body's already in motion. No dude, it's already in motion. I've been step been being stepped on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get bullied. I never know when that attack is coming. I'm not, I'm because I'm not sure if she's going to be doing that move or the magical thread needle thing. Vengeful spirit on B and holding heal to B is a 
it's a it's a conflicting combo because there'll be times where I'm like, oh, I need a heal and I'll hold it down and yeah, I just waste a bunch of my soul on um, a vengeful spirit into the wall instead of actually healing. So the solution for that is don't get hit. Um, which I, I cannot take my own advice. Every time I feel like I might have it, I lose it. Difficulty. It's really fun to learn though. I just, I feel my fingers getting sweaty on the D-pad, you know? There's always that part of me that feels like I can dodge that net, that needle on its way back for some reason. Like there's always that part of me that's like, I can do this. Like that, you know? I'm like, I can do that every time. Finishing move with the vengeful spirit. Cool. Skilled protector of Hallowness Ruins wields a needle and thread. I don't know if there was an opportunity for me to do a, uh, a finishing blow there when she was standing there, but. Taking the Mothwing cloak. Press RT to dash forwards. Use the cloak to dash quickly along the ground or through the air. Wow. Whoa, what the hell? Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. Those are the three masks on the black egg. 
What the hell? What in the world is going on? Another fellow fallen knight. I'm a, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit unsure about that. Damn. Okay. So Hornet is, uh, is her name. That's really cool too. Nice. Okay. We're in areas that need the dash. <laughs> areas that need the dash now. That's super exciting. Um, what a what a crazy fight too. Which is very challenging. Very challenging if I if I say so myself. <laughs> very fun though. Cool to achieve victory though, and persevere. The Lake of Un. Okay, enter. Um, nice, we got a rest spot and listen to. Uh, this is Quirrell still? Yeah. Oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. Go I saw a strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I'd planned to offer greetings, though figured I'd first tend to my nail and chance our meeting goes poorly. Your nail looks a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of wear. I'd wager up there it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. Hallow Nest is perfect for vigilant explorers like us, so tense and thrilling. In this place, you're either alert or you're dead. Very true. Hmm. Cool, and I will rest here. I will update our map. And we are at the Lake of Un, which looks like it's still part of Green Path. But we now have the dash, which will allow us to explore some different areas within here and then also make the Forgotten Crossroads and Fog Canyon um, newly uh, new, with some newly traversal, traversed areas. Areas to traverse, that's what I'm trying to say there. There we go. Uh, but with that one, we are going to bring this episode of Hollow Knight to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for episode three. I hope you have enjoyed our excursion through Green Path some more, checking out Fog Canyon a little bit, and then seeing Mrs. Silksong herself, Hornet, uh, for a very, uh, our first, uh, our, quite our first big challenging, our, our first pretty big challenging boss fight. And it was very fun. I liked it a lot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time.